picture a scientist. What do you see? A lab coat? Glasses? A beard? Well, scientists and people working in STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, don't always look like this. As the month of October is Black History Month here in the UK, I'm focusing on amazing Black Britons who should shape that picture in your heads. STEM subjects are for everyone. Before looking to present scientists, let's look to British history. Most of us know of Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution, but few know of John Edmonston. He was born into slavery in the late 1700s on a plantation in South America owned by a Scottish politician. His son-in-law Charles Waterton was a British naturalist who explored South America. John went along as his assistant, learning new skills on how to preserve birds. He moved with the family to Glasgow and was granted his freedom. He then moved to Edinburgh and worked for the Natural Museum preserving birds. He also worked as a tutor in the subject at the University of Edinburgh. 16-year-old Charles Darwin originally attended the university to learn medicine, but it wasn't for him. He paid for private tutoring from John on how to preserve birds. He also taught him about the plants and animals of South America. In 1831, Charles Darwin set sail on the HMS Beagle to explore the world, equipped with the skills that John Everston had taught him, leading to our understanding of evolution. Now to look at the present and the inspiring people working in STEM today. Dr. Mark Richards is an atmospheric physicist and a senior teaching fellow at Imperial College London. He has a PhD in physics and a degree in chemistry. His work focuses on air pollution and wireless air sensing networks, and to develop instruments that can detect very small amounts of particular chemicals that are in the air, and he's also a DJ. Catherine Okikialu is a British mathematician who earned her BA in mathematics from Cambridge University. She then earned a PhD in mathematics from the University of California. She went on to become a professor of mathematics and research maths I can't even begin to comprehend. In 1997, she became the first black person to win a Sloan Research Fellowship, the most prestigious prize for young mathematicians in the US. Professor Clifford Johnson is a theoretical physicist and professor. He earned a degree in physics from Imperial College London and became a doctor of philosophy and mathematics. His research focuses on superstring theory and particle physics. He also works as a science consultant for films and TV including for Avengers Endgame and Star Trek Discovery. He also has his own graphic novel, which he wrote and illustrated about the nature of the universe. So let's get rid of the stereotype scientist, even if I do look really good in a beard.